Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will be discussing about some more examples on the syntax directed translation schemes. Uh, here we are taking an example of uh, a, uh, an example of uh, generating the three address codes. Let's say we have been given this grammar. S produces id is equals to e. E produces e plus t oblique t. T produces t star f oblique f and f produces id so uh, the, the syntax directed translation schemes or the rules which is written for semantic analysis are given just uh, aside of every production rule here you can see that there are two things three things actually to just to take uh, uh, a note of one is the place another one is gen which is actually generate and there is one new temp. So new temp is actually about creating a new temporary variable. Fine. So you must be having an idea about how do we generate the three address codes. So in the three address codes for the sub expressions, we write uh, new uh, temporary variables and we can take as many temporary variables as possible or as required. Fine. So new temp is actually generating the new temporary variable. Now about the place. The place means uh, this is actually the attribute associated with a non-terminal. It means it is actually places uh, about a value. It means it can take some value. Okay. For example, if f produces id is a production, so whatever is the lex value of this id or what is the name of this id is stored in the place of f. Okay. So in f. As an attribute, we are storing the name of what is whatever this ID is. Okay. So two things that we already discussed. The next thing is generate. Generate. What does the generate do? It actually generates the three address code. It means it prints the three address code statement. Fine. Let's take the example of this x equals to a plus b. So in this x equals to a plus b, let us first write uh, first draw the pass tree for this. So s produces id is equals to e and then let us expand this e this e is e produces e plus t and then this t produces f this f produces id here too e produces t t produces f and f produces id Fine. So now let us uh, go uh, by the bottom of passing scheme and uh, let us write the three address code statements in the reduction. So let's see what is happening here. So this id is nothing but x in this case. Okay. Now what is happening here? This is not a reduction. This is not a reduction. Now id is assigned to f. Yes, this is the reduction. So what will happen actually? Uh, this this id is nothing but a, and this id is nothing but b. Now the value or the name a is assigned to the uh, The attribute associated with this f okay so this attribute is place so this uh, a is stored as an attribute for this f so here we have f f converted to a or in the attribute of f we are storing a fine now this again is a reduction f is, f is reduced to t so the rule is t produces f here what we are saying that whatever is the name associated with this f is being assigned to the name to t or the attribute of f is assigned as an attribute of t. So the attribute here was a. So the same attribute a is assigned to this t. And then there is again a reduction e produces t. So in e produces t also the attribute associated with this t is assigned to the attribute associated with the e. So here the attribute is a. The same attribute here is assigned to this. Fine. Now this is not a reduction. This is not a reduction. 
again we are going for this yes this is the reduction so in this reduction f produces id so what is happening here in f produces id f dot place is equals to id dot name the name of the id is or identified as b this is actually assigned as the attribute for f so the f contains or f's attribute contains now b then going up yes this is the reduction t produces f for this the attribute of f is assigned to attribute of t so now the attribute of t is also b going up now you see e produces e plus t so this is the production and this is the reduction e produces e plus t the two actions are taken here e dot place is equals to new temp a new temporary variable is created and which is assigned to e so let's say the new temporary variable is t1 so t1 is assigned as an attribute to e now we are generating the we are generating the uh, three address code so how are we going to generate this this is equals to generate e dot place so e dot place is t1 so we are going to write here as t1 is equals to e dot place plus t dot place so e dot place here is a and t, t dot place is b so t1 is equals to a plus b so this is the first three address code statement that we are writing fine now after this going up there is again a reduction so reduction is id is equals to s produces id is equals to e so what is the semantic rule associated with this id s produces id equals to e generate id dot name is equals to e dot place so we have to print the three address code statement so for printing the three address code statement id dot name id dot name is x is equals to e dot place so what is the e dot place e dot place is t1 so this in the, the attribute associated with the e dot place is t1 so this is the three address code statement for x equals to a plus b let us take one more example to understand this let's say this is x equals to a plus b multiplied with c so for this x equals to a plus b multiplied with c s produces id is equals to e then this e equals to e plus t this t is equals to t multiplied with f fine and then this f produces id for this t produces f f produces id for this e produces t t produces f and f produces id okay so this id is nothing but x and this id is nothing but a this id is nothing but b this id is nothing but c now you see wherever there are the reductions you will be doing the action which is defined by the semantic rules so this is not a reduction and then we are moving up yes this is a reduction f produces id so for this f produces id reduction the semantic rule associated with this is that we will be assigning an attribute to f same as the name of the id so f has an attribute a now t produces f this is a reduction so t produces f whatever is the attribute of f will be assigned as an attribute of t which is a okay now again e produces t this is the reduction so whatever is the attribute associated with the e uh, sorry t will be assigned as an attribute of e so e contains a now the attribute of e contains a and then this is not the reduction this is a reduction f produces id so f produces id means f will have an attribute of the id name so here the attribute of f is b now then again going up t produces f this is also a reduction so attribute of b is assigned as an attribute of t so this value is b and then this is not a reduction reduction moving up yes this is a reduction f produces id 
So the ID value will be assigned as an attribute of F that is C. Then moving up, this is a reduction. So this reduction is with the rule T produces T star F. So what is happening in T produces T star F? First is T dot place is equals to new temp. So new temporary variable will be created. Let's say the new temporary variable is T1 and which is assigned as an attribute of T. After this, we will generate the three address code. So the generation of the three address code is saying T dot place is equals to T dot place multiplied with F dot place. So T dot place here is T1 is equals to this T dot place means B multiplied with this F dot place that is C. Okay, so the first three address code generated here is T1 is equals to B multiplied with C. And then moving up, this is also a reduction. So this reduction is according to the rule E produces E plus T. So what is happening in E produces E plus T? First a new temporary variable is created which is assigned as the attribute of E. So this is T2 and then generation of the three address code statement. Fine. So generation of the three address code statement is E dot place that is T2 is equals to E dot place on the left hand side we have B sorry on, on the left hand side we have A then plus this T dot place so this T dot place has T1 okay so this is the second three address code statement and then moving up again there is a reduction reduction of kind X S produces ID is equals to E S produces ID is equals to B so you just have to generate the three address code statement so generate id dot name that is x is equals to e dot place e dot place is t2 so this is the three address code statement for the given arithmetic expression thank you